Hi, at Christmas time I love to bake cookies for gifts or just for your family and friends to snack on. This is Everyday Baking with Grace Stevens. This is an easy cookie recipe. We're going to start with icing sugar. So I've got 210 grams here and I've just sifted it into my bowl. I'm then going to add 250 grams of soft butter. Okay, dokes. And some vanilla extract. You could just use lemon rind if you wanted a lemon instead of vanilla taste. It's very nice and versatile. Then I'm just going to give this a good whisk. And I'm going to add my egg, just one egg, cracked into there. And then 375 grams of flour. And that's all. Now we just have to make sure that we don't have a flower storm when I turn this on. I'm going to finish it off just with my spatula. Where's my spatula over here? And then I'm going to pop this. I'm going to cover this bowl with some cling film and then I'm going to pop it into the fridge just to rest for about an hour. Take it out of the fridge. Let it come up to room temperature, maybe 5-10 minutes, and then we'll cut, cut out our cookies. This dough can be kept in the freezer for about 3 months, or you can keep it in the fridge for about 2 weeks. So you could make cookies whenever you needed them. So this is a really great, easy, easy recipe. So it's all combined. I'm going to cover this with cling film and go and put it in the fridge. I've chilled my dough and then I took it out of the fridge and I've just put it between these two pieces of baking sheet and I'm going to roll it to about half a centimeter thick because you want them to be quite dainty because we're going to sandwich them with some jam in between and we don't want them to be a whack of cookie we just want them to be quite nice and dainty I'm using a circle cutter and you have to cut out an odd I mean an even number of cookies and then half of them you are going to cut any sort of shape but I've chosen a star for Christmas because it's really great and then just half of them you're going to do that too then pop these onto a baking sheet you can take that star out when you do that. Pop these into an oven at 180 degrees for about six or seven minutes. You don't want them to get too brown, just lightly bronzed around the edges and then we'll take them out and cool them before we fill them with strawberry jam. My cookies have cooled and now we're going to fill them. So I'm going to take a plain one and I'm going to use some of this jam that I've made. All I've done is taken half a cup of raspberry or strawberry jam and I've put 15 ml of orange juice in here and I also cut a bit of the pith and popped it in here. Let this simmer for about two or three minutes and then let it completely cool and then it comes out quite like jelly which is really what you want because you don't want runny jam that oozes out everywhere. Just put a tiny spoon on top of the bottom one and take your star one and push it down and look at that isn't that beautiful I'm going to do a few more and then I'm going to show you how you can just pop them into a beautiful pretty gift box and they make such a stunning gift there we go so we just dust them lightly with some beautiful icing sugar here just gonna make one more and then I'm going to show you how you can pop them into a beautiful little gift box and it makes the perfect little gift so there we go a little bit of icing sugar dusted over there just finishes it off beautifully then I've popped these ones into a gift box you can put a piece of baking sheet in between the layers of biscuits put a beautiful ribbon around this box and what a gorgeous little gift for somebody Merry Christmas if you
you like that, give it a like and share it on Facebook with your friends and family. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep in touch with all my new recipes or go and visit my blog.